I am he as you are he as you are me, and we are all together. What? Okay, what? Give me like 46 minutes to like think about this and contemplate what this could mean. I feel like this is like a five seconds of summer song or like a One Direction song. This person does not have very good grammar. I am he as you are he as you are me. He's trying to say that we're all one. We're all one being. They're all one race. Reminds me of the book, a book I read. It's like on spiritual energy and it's like we are all one. See how they run like pigs from a gun? See how they fly? I'm crying. This sounds like a really famous song, I think. I'm onto the rock scene or like that 90s stuff. Let's rebel with our guns, you know, Second Amendment stuff. They run like pigs from a gun, so they're squealing around, I guess, people are. I'm crying. Maybe this is really like emotionally stimulating for this person. <laughs> Maybe they're high. It's probably not a five seconds of summer song now. I think it's trying to like say something about how something like with a relationship, how this guy's like running away from the girl. Sitting on a cornflake waiting for the van to come. Corporation t-shirt, stupid bloody Tuesday. Man, you been a naughty boy. You let your face grow long. You're sitting on a cornflake. It's either a really big cornflake or you're a really small person. Maybe a cornflake is like a metaphor for something that is not very like steady and can't hold a lot of weight. So he's like a stupid bloody, it's like British, I can see like the bloody thing going on. Maybe it's a band from the UK. A long face, that means like you're sad or you're like down in the dumps. Is this all just symbolism and I just don't get it? I am the Eggman, they are the Eggmen. I am the walrus, goo 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 jube. What the f This is like the Beatles but not. I know this song. It's the Beatles. It's the Beatles. It's called I'm the Eggman, right? He's an Eggman. So he's like a superhero. He's really proud of being an Eggman, like savior of chickens. And when he said I am the Eggman, I instantly thought of Sonic and Dr. Eggman. They're using some weird kind of code to convey some kind of picture and I'm not getting that picture. Mr. City Policeman sitting pretty little policemen in a row. See how they fly like Lucy in the sky. See how they run. Okay, I saw Lucy in the Sky, I instantly thought of a Beatles song. But I'm pretty sure this isn't a Beatles song. And if it is, this is a really weird Beatles song. See how they fly like Lucy in the Sky, see how they run. He's planning something to fight back and he's making a metaphor how they're gonna like run away and fly off. I feel like he's kind of mocking policemen. They're conformed, because they're policemen, I mean, <laughs> working for the government. I think this song's like a symbolism for how Policemen run the world. Policemen are known to abuse their power. How can they fly and run at the same time? They're on acid. I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. I think this one means he's crying. Pretty straightforward, I gotta say. Maybe the policeman got him. He's crying for like, what the state of humanity or the country or the city is in, or he's crying because of joy, like, oh, they're about to rebel, so they're gonna be free. Yellow matter, custard dripping from a dead dog's eye, crab a locker, fishwife, pornographic priestess. Boy, you've been a naughty girl, you let your knickers down. When, like, you wake up and you got that nasty stuff in your eyes, so that's what he's talking about. My dog has that sometimes. Crab a locker, fishwife, pornographic priestess. That's a mouthful. Definitely for the priestess. Maybe it's about a, um, priestess who like kind of is a nun during the day but a, like a hoe during the night. None of this song is correlating with any of the lyrics at all. At this point I just think they're making things up. I really don't know what this means. This is more mentally stimulating than school. Sitting in an English garden waiting for the sun. If the sun don't come you got a tan from standing in the English rain. Oh that's kind of pretty. I think the English rain is his like tears He's crying because the son, the chick didn't come to meet him at the place. You can't get tanned from rain. It's not how it works. This guy is just high. I can't put anything together. Expert, textbook, choking smokers. Don't you think the Joker laughs at you? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I don't know what a textbook is unless you know you're good at texting or you're like you're good at reading stuff. It's kind of ironic how the Joker is laughing at you while he's the Joker and you're supposed to laugh at him. Joker means like the arch nemesis, kind of like how they have like Batman and then they have the Joker, so they have Eggman and the Joker, I don't know, or Eggman and the Joker. 
Now I think that this song is a joke. They're making a song just to make a song and to see if anyone notices that it's just super weird lyrics. Semolina Pilchard, climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Elementary penguins singing Hare Krishna. Man, you should have seen them kicking Edgar Allan Poe. This is why people major in English to understand this Singing Hare Krishna, I think that's like a um a Hindu thing, like a chant that they have. Semolina, that's like a flower. Semolina Pilchard, that could possibly be a girl. Girl. Man, you should have seen them kicking Edgar Allan Poe. Maybe that's higher authority, like talking down at Edgar Allan Poe because Edgar Allan Poe is so much more intellectual. Oh, well, that's rude. Kicking out Edgar Allan Poe, he was a really good poet. So I've been told. I'm the Eggman, they are the Eggman, I'm the walrus, goo 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 jube. It still doesn't make sense. I think it's an inside joke between them because it doesn't make sense. Goo 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 jube, goo 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 jube. Goo 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 jube, goo 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 jube. Goo juba 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 juba. Juba juba, juba juba. Gabbledy gook. I feel like you guys wrote this just to mess with my head. I can't understand any of these metaphors. They're too complex for me. So what was this song about? I think that song was about parties, drinking jugs. I think it was a guy trying to find the love of his life and people tried to knock him down. It's one big metaphor for uh, defying the man. An uprising of the people against the government, the pigs, the policemen. Doesn't make sense. Maybe that was their point, just to make everyone go crazy. The artist who wrote these lyrics said that they intentionally made the lyrics random and confusing as a way to poke fun at the constant overanalyzation of their other songs. So this song, was supposed to not make sense at all? Uh, uh, yeah. Goo 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 jube. People were like, hmm, jube must mean really something deep to him. I was forced to overanalyze these, and boy did I. I automatically like this guy. Everyone has that English teacher that just takes everything and makes it so symbolic. Not everything has to have a million meanings. Maybe it's just a bunch of words thrown together. Even if the goal was not to have a meaning, the actual meaning behind it is to not to have a meaning, so it it technically has a meaning. That's actually a good message to send out. Stop like overthinking it and just appreciate the actual song for itself. Do you know the song's artist and title? Hell no. No idea of who wrote this. I'm only gonna say it's from the UK. Goo 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 Jube is the title, I'm guessing. I have no idea who the artist is. I'm the Eggman by the Beatles. The Beatles, I'm the Walrus. I am the Walrus by the Beatles. It's called I am the Walrus by the Beatles. The Beatles wrote this. <laughs> so it was a Beatles song? Wow, I didn't think, okay. I thought it was gonna be some like offbeat artist, but I guess it's cool that they don't care what other people think of them. Beatles. Some of the stuff was cool, I get it, like those references that they were making, but the whole Go Juba part kind of messed everything up. The name of the song isn't I Am The Eggman, it's actually called I Am The Walrus by The Beatles. So it's kind of ruined my day a little. Thanks for watching another episode of Lyric Breakdown. Subscribe, new shows every week. Comment down below what other lyrics you want us to break down next. I am the walrus, goo goo, goodbye.